welcome back to the channel so based on what you're seeing here yes I got myself a quick change tool post so this video is about mounting this tool post on my Logan lathe and uh, what I did was I got the wedge style quick change tool post it's an AXA size and this is an unboxing of it here's the 250 101s these are the XL ones there was a package deal where you paid like couple of dollars more and you got a couple more of these the XL ones anyway which was nice and this is two fifty one oh seven for the parting blade another two fifty one oh two Looks surprisingly like the 101. And here's the actual tool post. Everything came in these little bags, and everything is covered in very fine slime of grease, which I'd rather have that than anything else. Uh, Next piece, a ah, boring bar holder, which is part 250-104. And the last piece, if I'm not mistaken, this should actually be, it's an knurling tool, 250-110. So instead of degreasing, I decided to just wipe uh, the parts down a bit. They are a little chewy, a little grungy, but the grease is not actually dried because the eBay seller I bought this from apparently moves up quite a bit of these. I've been watching these things sell out and it usually gets, I guess, chunks of a thousand or something like that and they, they're usually gone within a month and the brand is Bowstar so it's AXA size so this should be pretty darn good for my lathe and what it comes with is this plate which you get to measure and cut your own T-slots in so you can mount this quick change to a post so with that said I'll point a few differences uh, the 250 101 XLs they have a wider mouth so you can use larger tools or should I say taller tools the regular 101's have a smaller mouth uh, 250 102's they have a V groove over here so I guess you can hold cylindrical stock in there so that's about it so as I mentioned before this is a parting tool so you got four I have well technically it only comes with two but I have I bought an, uh, another pair of um, uh, tool holders so you get four straight shank tool holders one uh, parting tool one boring bar tool which I believe is half inch and three eighths no it's half inch and I think three quarters I have to look that up and then a um, uh, knurling tool which is this should be perfect for my setup so next up is me figuring out how I'm gonna machine this what am I gonna use to machine it how much do I need to take off what shape these slots need to be and so on and so forth I'm lucky in that my lathe came in with two square tool posts and the actual plates were both machined for my uh, compound rest so I'm probably gonna do the same thing just copy those measure them out and copy them alrighty time for some math this is the compound slide this is the profile 980 throw 270 deep on this 280 deep this way 1400 this way 
width. This block over here is 1.8 inches wide, 480 tall, so it's almost half an inch. So I need to shave off 225 on each side. I need to mill down 180 on each side by 210 deep each way so I can get the slots in and uh, that's what I'm planning on doing so let's uh, let's start the milling Pardon me, it's late, and uh, so far I've milled out the sides, to even them out. I milled out this channel. Now I'm milling out this channel. Channels are slow going because I'm not confident enough in power feeding this, so I'm feeding it by hand manually. I figured let's show you some of it. Feeding the tool to the scribe line. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly come back around. I'm going to work my way down now. There it is. It's been machined. I'm going to wipe it down and mount it. <clears throat> Alright, so... My compound here has a chunk missing, a couple of chunks missing actually. So I assume this lathe's had a hard life in the past, but the chunk of steel that came with this is actually not long enough to cover the whole thing anyway, so this is where it's going to live. And the cuts on this compound, I don't know, they're not symmetrical. So to actually get this centered, the one side is a little bit bigger than the other. So now it's actually symmetrical. And uh, this is the stud. It goes there. So the stud doesn't bottom out on the compound. And there's the quick change to a post. Right. This is the original nut. I may upgrade this to a handle so I get both handles. But for now. 7 8 wrench is what I use on the tailstock. So, 
it's not that far off <laughs> that wrench here anyway and it's dedicated to the slave so my calculations are correct this should accept tooling no problems well there it is there's a tool I'm using the 101 I got a small tool here that I've been using to turn I balanced it out and it fits rather well I uh, like the way this thing fits I like the way this thing runs and I'm about to show you how it cuts but with that said I would really really like you guys to actually hit subscribe and maybe watch some of my other videos if you can um, YouTube has um, um, had rule changes lately and I'd like to still have my motivation for making videos so just show me you care a little bit hit subscribe I would really really appreciate it so coming up um, I'll show you how well the way this thing turns I'm um, trying to get an artistic camera angle so hopefully it works later